If you're not sure the Vaxi Outset XC's got the right components, certainly built to a premium standard, why well, you definitely come to the right channel. I'm going to show you how this thing is constructed. I'm going to take it apart bit by bit, weigh every piece, give my impressions about how it's built quality wise. Check out the sensor, the MCU, the switches. If you're that nerdy, you've come to the right place. If you're not sure I am, I'm Beardy Bob, gaming for over 35 years, got a lot of mice, somewhere 230 plus, got a lot of keyboards, wanting to talk up from Valorant. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around, you'll like this channel. Let's see what this thing's made of. The problem with the Vaxi feet is they still use the old Zari ones where they're a bit painful to get off and put back on. Sometimes they don't go on very well. So you might find these replacements. These ones feel a bit better actually. They haven't bubbled as much. Let's screw hole up. What have we got? Half a gram. Unfortunately, they're using the torque screws again. They're not AXW means, I guess AX wireless. I do like on the Vaxi how they have the DPI in, um, or the, like, uh, what's that, millisecond, I think, for, is that polling? Is that a polling rate? I can't remember. But anyway, you can see them. This is a T7H. Pretty clean base. Not made it so you can't put any skate on. They've got the trims in, but you could all like the edge in. You have to sand it. Meh. But you could put dots on it fairly easy. If you so wished. Oops. There's one way of opening it up. So no, it's not gonna be difficult to open. Quite a few ribbon cables. But these ones are fairly easy to pull these. Pull this one. They've not got their weird bracket. And then pull this back one. It's got a big battery. There's a PCB. Quite big, really. Not, my, not really tweet that, have they? Not like the final mouse. I've not been uh, trying to save any weight. And then the internal part, again, we're using this in a skeleton. Do PCB first. So again, we're using a different screw as well. Now we've got a normal screw. That's a long screw. There's nothing really different here, same design. We've got the little white things that go in here, which are pinged off and the rubber cap bits, whatever they are. So it's still complex, the uh, Vaxi mice. Could simplify it a little bit, but they don't seem to want to. Maybe because they prefer the quality. Still don't get this. Like a little block. Must be to prevent it from rattling around, maybe. Pretty beefy, isn't it? Rocking the PAW3395 DM-6, uh, sorry, dash T6QU, which is pretty standard. It looks like Nordic. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's like it's rocking a different MCU. It's rocking a PAR2862QC. Different MCU, we're not seeing that one around. Okay. Power switch. The base is still an absolute monster. I don't understand this piece. Don't get it. We forgot the ring. It's got a slightly deeper crevice. It looks like something where the ring was a little bit thicker. It's got the same design as Zari with these little rims. Let's 
same as the uh, PCB, I think. Uh, okay, there's a, it's taped and there's a clip here. So we have to pull this tape off and then I guess it comes out that way. Right, so I say there's a clip of taking care, not wanting the battery to ping out. It's a little bit awkward to get out, but how long that wire is, holy moly. 400 milliamp. I love that cable. <laughs> Good news though, they're using the, I think it's 1.5 mil JST or 125, I can never remember. Eight grams, damn. You have to explain this to us. Why is that screw different to these screws? Why? It's a different screw. Weird. Yeah, black shell pink dots, eh? I say they took the texture off where they've done that and some of the ones, but I know the MPO one had the texture. Fairly thick. To the one. Some of the design again, some screws at the front. Take the skeleton out. Two screws here, which should drop this out, and these ones I think are on the PCB in. Looks a slightly different PCB. Have you seen before? The screw here. A different screw. Don't forget to use a smaller micro switch for the screw. You could simplify the build for the vaccine, probably save quite a bit of money, but still making it way complicated. It's a tight fit though, I like it. Precision engineering. Translucent switches, though. Sexy. Whole gram, though. Holy moly. 60 grams. Damn, it. Black and pink is always a nice combo, gotta be honest. Using micro switches on the sides. The LED lights, that looks like. Throw these connectors, they just pull out and push in. No, like, lift you up bit or anything. It's in tight, though. Holy moly. Ah, I see why. There's a screw. Switches with the posts outside, not on the edges. Look at this one, for instance. Solding points on the sides, this one has the solding points on the back. And branded. Oh, Hawano, I think. Yeah, there you go. Hawano. So they used to have the, these on a separate PCB, now they kind of go with the G Pro style. Maybe they changed it. Beefy ribbon cable. Four more screws, more identification tags, AXW. They're trying to keep the same screws though, so I'll give them credit. There's a few little changes on them. Some of the slightly bigger heads, you've always got the rear torque screws, but overall they're the same length and same screwing. These are as well. These are the same as the other PCB ones, so which is good. Means not much of a variety. We've got quite a lot. It's a chunky, it's like a wheel on a car, doesn't it? A tire on it. Interesting how it's thicker on this side, thinner on that side. Maybe to do the shape. <laughs> Two grams for the rubber. Holy moly. Quite a light wheel. Interesting. You're not going to find a wheel like this. It's got quite a long bar. Need a replacement? I don't think you'll find one. I've not seen one like that before. Put any rubber in it. Oh, uh, Dr. 
squeeze it. It's quite smaller, it's quite narrow. We learn. There's a lot of components here. Main PCB, well, not really. So pink dot black shell Hawanus. We didn't measure was the thickness of the PCB. Quite a thin PCB, that 0.5. It's got the main one because I forgot to do this one. I can't say I want to use this PCB, but never know. Like for a modern or anything, it's a bit big. Stuff in the um, BGN Dragonfly. F1's the best PCB for that. Can't tell the encoder though. It's quite a small, seven mil maybe. Yeah, seven mil encoder. It's quite low. Let's see what brand it is it? Looks like an Alps. But I don't think it is. Could be though. Yeah, it's Alps. Alps seven mil. Final bit. The inner skeleton. Put a skinny one, I reckon. Five grams? Nope, way off. Way off. Nearly eight. Damn, seen. There we are, the uh, Vaxi Outset XE Wireless 4K version. There's a lot of screws. Look at that. Sound of quality, but the components in this thing are good. A lot of components. Certainly not tried to make it light. Could have made a slightly better PCB, I think, and took some weight out of it. Maybe they like 73 grams. Trust any quality issues, though. Nice cables, good switches. Not my preference, pink dot I want to use, but not bad. That's what you expect. Pretty standard Vaxi uh, mouse here. Eh? Nothing uh, blowing my socks off, but decent.